So, you want to be a master of persuasion, huh? Buckle up, because we're diving into the wild world of rhetorical devices and persuasive language. It's like having a secret weapon in your verbal arsenal, except it's not so secret anymore because I'm about to spill the beans on how to wield it like a pro. Let's talk about rhetorical devices. These bad boys are like spices in a chef's kitchen. They add flavor, depth, and that extra oomph to your words. Ever heard of alliteration? That's when you repeat the same sound at the beginning of neighboring words, like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. It's catchy, it's memorable, and it's sure to make your audience sit up and take notice. Then there are metaphors, the OG of figurative language. You know, comparing two unrelated things to make a point. Like saying time is a thief or love is a battlefield. It's a sneaky way to tap into people's emotions and paint vivid pictures in their minds. And trust me, once you've got him hooked, they're putty in your hands. But wait, there's more. Ever heard of the rule of three? It's like the holy trinity of persuasive language. Just list three things and boom, instant persuasion. It's like telling a joke, setup, punchline, laughter. Except instead of laughs, you get nods of agreement and maybe even a round of applause. The power of persuasion itself is like a Jedi mind trick, but without the fancy lightsabers. With the right words and a sprinkle of charm, you can convince people to do just about anything, buy your product, vote for your candidate, or even agree with your questionable taste in movies. But here's the thing, persuasion isn't just about talking people into things. It's about building trust, establishing credibility, and connecting with your audience on a deeper level. You gotta speak their language, address their concerns, and maybe throw in a joke or two to keep things interesting. Oh, and did I mention the importance of storytelling? People love a good story, it's like catnip for the human brain. So instead of bombarding them with facts and figures, paint a picture, weave a narrative, and take them on a journey they'll never forget. It's like giving them a front row seat to the greatest show on earth, and spoiler alert, you're the star. But here's the real secret sauce, authenticity. You gotta be genuine, sincere, and true to yourself. People can smell a fake a mile away, and trust me, they ain't buying what you're selling if they think you're full of it. So be honest, be transparent, and above all, be yourself. After all, there's no one else quite like you, and that's your biggest advantage in the game of persuasion. The ins and outs of using rhetorical devices and persuasive language effectively. Armed with these tools and a healthy dose of charm, you'll be unstoppable. So go forth, dear reader, and conquer the world, one persuasive word at a time.